obviously you fly off to Brazil for the World Cup draw. What are your thoughts ahead of that? Well, I suppose interest and excitement, waiting to see what we get. It's a bit like the the Forrest Gump box of chocolates. It's there in front of us and we're just about to open the lid and dip our hand in. So we, we hope we get a bit of good fortune, not least of all in terms of the venues where we're due to play, kick-off times, etc. But whatever happens, we're... We're really pleased to be there and we'll do our best to prepare for whatever comes our way. Obviously you've been to a World Cup before but with, with a other country apart from your own, how special would it be to lead your, your country of birth to a World Cup? Yeah, it's very, very special. I think I've said that on many an occasion. It's a great honour to be asked to manage England. A, another great honour to be taking the, the team to Brazil after especially having to work so hard to qualify from a difficult qualifying group. There's no easy teams in the World Cup. 32 teams are qualified, but they're all top, top draw teams with top draw players. So, you know, we'll be in the same boat as them. We won't have any easy games, but then neither will our opponents. And just finally, obviously, the last major tournament you went to with England, you, you didn't have the benefit of having the qualifying campaign. Is that going to help you this time around, do you think? Yeah, it helps me to know the players more. But having said that, the, the players who came with me to Poland and Ukraine did a fantastic job. I did have a lot of time with them beforehand, but the, the three or four weeks we spent together were very valuable. And I thought they did exceptionally well in a difficult group. So we've got that experience. We know that uh, you know the Euros didn't give us an easy ride. We know that Brazil won't give us an easy ride, but we also know that we've got the qualities within our group to supersede any, any problems that do arise.